Hey folks, PC7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Farm Sim 15. We are, of course, here on the hard working farm. And today, before we get too involved with crashing into things, um, I have some shoutouts I must make, because, uh, well, basically this uh, episode is going to be based on some help I have gotten from some viewers. I'm trying to figure out... First of all, though... Right above the window... Is that a mirror? And if so, what is it actually showing me? Like, where is that view? I recognize... Okay, I see that it's grass, but is it directly below us? Hmm. And what have I been driving that has wither wheels? I swear that looks like it's got a set of... Vehicle tracks with wither wheel turned. Oh, now it's only gone to one wheel. Oh, I must have been a motorcycle. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, I'm uh, just going to head down here and uh, see how our sheep are doing. Because I think it's been a day or two since I've checked their bales. And I was told at one point that if you have a 100 sheep, you will make one full pallet every day. So, I have advanced a day to get the crops up, as you can see. There we go, look at that. We have some kurabi, some onions, some carrots. Oh, we're happy, happy, joy, joy. How are our little pumps doing? Ah, okay, so they hold 50,000 liters when they are finally full. Huh, just takes a while. Alright, and it looks like we did a good job here, because if I don't miss my guess... I think that looks to be a full pallet. We'll just check here before we go hauling it away. And if it is, well that makes two. So let's have a boo. What have we got? Uh, not yet. Oops, too far. Here we go. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Yep. Full it is. So let's get it the heck out of there. I discovered uh, I bought a set of forks for this. We had the uh, Deutsch 7250, and I was using that as a front end loader. But I discovered something rather interesting. The uh, front loader console would not actually allow the forks to go down low enough to release the bale. I had to do a whole bunch of, you know, drive forward really quickly and then backwards and try and get it to slide off the forks with it at a tilt and just all kinds of weirdness. So... There we go. We should have two full bale sets there now. Yes, indeed. Lovely. We will uh, <laughs> get back in the darn thing at some point. Take those off and sell them. Maybe when we get like four sets or something, I think that would be... Oopsie. I think that would be reasonable. There we go. Okay, let's shut this little thing off. And then... Uh, Let's get on with this. So first things first. Um, one, you may notice the frame rate's a little better. That's two things. One of them being I did get rid of that um, Axion tractor. That immediately polished things up. The other is, and this is the first shout out, thanks very, very, very much to Master Harold Sir, one of my viewers. And the Sir part is part of the name. It's not a, yeah. Uh, so Master Harold Sir, because he found a file 
Over on Maru's site, I think we all know who Maru is if we play Farm Sim or watch Farm Sim or have ever heard of Farm Sim. Um, that allows us to double the amount of fruits available. Yeah, that 64 um, different fruit limit. Yeah, there is a script now that... Uh, now they say they don't guarantee you'll get 128 fruits on your map. But it does have the capability. So yeah, we... Uh, I have added... This here. We can drop fruits here. And we will get extra value because... Did I place it backwards? No, it's kind of the same front and back, isn't it? Um, they will produce wine and jams out of it there. I have also... I need a vehicle here. I'm not going to run around the whole time. Let's find ourselves a suitable tractor. Alright, let's find ourselves any tractor. You'll do. Alright. So yeah, I have added that. I have added the tomato and cucumber greenhouses. We have a couple each of those. Do -do 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 -do. And I've been able to place the juice factory. Again, these are all thanks to the fact that we can now double the amount of available fruits. So there we go. Now instead of having to sell off our fruits for a straight up dinero, we can sell them for more money. I know, a hundred grand wasn't enough. We can now sell them for more money by allowing a processing. Plus we're gonna have a continuous influx of cash because they don't sell at an immediate rate, they sell it by the hour type rate. Kind of like the milk production. So, here is something else. And this, I have to thank my buddy Lord Ife Boatface, who has been a long-time viewer and subscriber to the channel, because he informs me that if I use this particular little mini BGA, rather odd-looking little animal, isn't it? Um, it will supply me with fertilizer. <laughs> and the fertilizer brings us to my third shout-out. And, uh... That would be, and I don't know if I'm going to get this name right, but uh, this is thanks to Punk at Het. Is that close, or is it... No, wait, Punky... No, Punk at Het. Well, I'm going to go with that. It could be Punk Athet, or Punk Athet. But anyway, um, he let me know that our greenhouses do, in fact, because I was rather surprised when I saw it, but our greenhouses do, in fact, use fertilizer, and where to dump it, he also informed me of. So, that is also in place now. So lovely. And then, of course, we've got our milk factory up here. So, what can I say, you know? Thanks so much, guys. You, uh, you make this channel for me, and, uh, well, I make the videos for you in exchange. <laughs> Holy, I see advancing a day has really stocked up on our, uh, look at that, look at all those pallets of, uh, fresh milk, and cheese, and buttermilk, and, oh, and a whole bunch in the back of butter, oh, goody, 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 we have milk everywhere, excellent, so, uh, yeah, look at everything going on here, and above all that, as I say, coming in at a pretty decent frame rate. So, we can't, uh, however, make money off any of these things unless we dig out the harvesters. And this is going to be a bit of a process, of course, because... Uh, oh, that's also why we're no longer at the almost 300 grand mark. Uh, the juice factory is 55k etc. So yeah, I dropped uh, about a hundred grand on upgrading and adding new facilities. So 
so there you go. Now, what we need is our harvester. There's no point putting this guy away. I'm going to end up hooking him up to a trailer. And I guess we will start with... Whoops. <laughs> it always helps if you actually have some idea of where you're going. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now I notice we're out of straw in our mixing facility, but that's okay. We should have a huge supply of mixed rations in there by now. But, for the moment, like I said, what's important is to get our poor lonely harvester up and running. Oh, just made it <laughs> almost left, left that too late. Let's get you opened up. Get you over here, pick up your stuff. As I say, this time around the cornfield is going to be a cornfield. Next time around it will be a silage. So, and uh, good discussion on. Uh, last couple of videos here there's been a little bit of commentary and discussion on what a person really should do about silage so far as grass cutting and corn cutting and where they're practical etc etc and cost efficient and uh, that's kind of stuff I like to see keep it up guys those kind of discussions can only help now whoa <laughs> okay. that's the newest trailer in my fleet so I might as well smack on it yeah, when I went to uh, fast forward time from yesterday morning till this morning, it actually rained for almost the entire day yesterday. So, just as good that we fast forwarded because we weren't going to see anything. And I still would really like to know what this maintenance button does. And, you know, because you'll notice here, if you go down, it says uh, 6, maintenance. Okay. Now here's six on the keypad. Turns on the lights. Here's six on the not keypad. Anything happen? Didn't notice any money go away. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I see. It's a maintenance ladder. Oh, alrighty. Oh, well, very cool. I mean, we've only had this harvester since the beginning of the series, and now I actually notice the things it does. So let's enable the straw swath, because uh, we do want straw. And, uh, ding, 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 ding. I think as we have other things we can get on with, we're going to hire up little Billy Bob here, and uh, let him do his usual exceptional job of harvesting our wheat. And spit straw. a boy. So what I want to see there, Billy Bob. Carry on. Don't you spit no straw on me. That's a lot of straw. Whoo-wee. All right, so how is the fruit crop? Now, I'm sure the grapes will be ready. They've had, uh, I guess this will be the morning of the third day since the last time they were harvested. Yes, indeed, 100%. And up here we find that our pears are ready. Do 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 our peach peaches are ready. Our apples are ready. How about the olives? 62%. So the olives still require another day. And then of course we have uh, oranges and I don't know. Something else. What do we got here? I believe uh, cherries and plums, maybe? And... Cherries are ready? Plums are ready. And then we have our orange grove, and I would certainly think that it will be ready as well. Yeah, as you can see, we've got uh, a full suite of greenhouses. I have added two of these fine tomato greenhouses. And, oh, look at that, 44% paprikas. Nice. 
We've almost got a harvest of peppers. And, uh, yeah, cucumbers. So there you go. We got more kinds of fruits and veggies than we know what to do with. This is a very productive type farm. So, let's take a wander down here. Make sure all the orange trees are ready. Because one of our big things I think we've got to concentrate on from here on out is keeping these factories supplied. And like I said, I doubt we're going to sand. The oranges are 100% ready. I doubt very much that we will sell any crops outright. Other than perhaps our root crops. Um, although... I might actually just simply find that particular mod. That's just weird that there's this big strip. What the heck did I run down here that would have done this? Um, yeah, I do find it kind of... Uh, there we go. Now ah, I've completely forgotten. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. I tell you, see that? A missing chunk of grass distracted me so badly I don't even know what the heck I was talking about. Hmm. Oh, unless I find the uh, that device that eats uh, potatoes and sugar beets and turns them into mixed rations. Because I do believe there was a placeable version of that. Yeah. Hmm. Now, what we need to be doing, however, as I said, is uh, supplying everyone. Now, have I actually... No, I didn't. Well, that's not good. So where did I leave him? Yeah, there's you. You're not needing tendon yet. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where, oh, where did we... There you are. Where the heck are you? Oh, really? Just around the corner from where I looked for you. Well, it's beautiful. Brilliant. <laughs> oh man of course uh, we also have this right which is our uh, bakery oh really we can drop off tomatoes and cucumbers here and they'll make sandwiches sandwiches <laughs> oh well already whatever you guys say man well, like I said, this is uh, this is sort of what we're going to be doing here on the farm, is trying to keep all of these factories running at some sort of rate. At least see if we can't get them all producing something at the same time. And, of course, speaking of which... There we go. And we will start with grapes. And the grapes I think we will take down to our new Grandpa's Wines and uh, Grandma's Jams. Here we go. Uh, the thing I really like about the grapes is they go so quick. You can basically just drive slowly past the trees. So I did, uh, throw a couple of uh, forage harvester mods into the folder because uh, no, I just want to make sure I don't accidentally pluck in olives into the trailer because there's nothing in it yet. And there we go. Hmm. Huh. Is that full then? Yeah, apparently. Although I think we were a little far from that one bush, because it doesn't. There we go. It didn't get. Uh, didn't get done. Now let's get in nice and snug. 
Now the truck's full. Yeah. And now we're filling the trailer. I believe we should get about 8,000 off here. Maybe a little more. Oh, 81. <laughs> well, what are the odds, eh? Alright, and we are going to... Oh! In a moment. Here's what you don't want to be doing. Is holding up a machine that you're paying a daily maintenance of some three, four, five, six thousand dollars on. Just because you're busy picking a hundred bucks worth of grapes. No siree, Bob. I'm going to assume I actually have the trailer attached. No, I'm going to look. Yeah, I do. I just remembered I have mirrors. Mm. Yeah, I already did. Oh, yeah. I see you're leaving your little bunches of useless at this beginning of each row. I don't know. We finally taught you how to drive a tractor. I guess we've got to work on your harvester skills. Indeed. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Dump that green. Yeah, we'll run now. Uh, what we can to the wine and jam and the oranges are definitely going to go over to the juice because uh, that's where the money is in oranges, right? Is juice. And we'll go from there and see what the rest of it comes to. Alright. You are now empty. I can get on with getting on. Do 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 do. Take you down here where you're not going to be in the way on the next pass. Perfect. And jump out and run back to get the other job done. Prump, 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 prump. Okie dokie, jump in, dude. Oh, away we go. Oh, start the engine. Ha ha, away we go. <laughs> we are 8,100 liters of grapes. I'm going to cut it through here, I think. Do, do, do. Seeing as it's such a long way. Alright, well I've never used this particular facility before. But I'm going to assume where the, uh, this is. And we got a tip. Let me bring this menu back up so we can see what we've got here. Uh, other than unload, nothing. Okay, let's unload. There we go, grapes. Alright, so unlike the other ones, it only tells you the listings if you've actually got something in there. Alright, let's move forward now. Get the trailer onto the tip point. There we go. And 8100. Beautiful. And we'll pull out. And go grab ourselves something else. Oh, come on. Wait, oh boy, wait forever for you to go by. Alright. 
having something to uh, occupy us while our harvester is busy. Alright, now I guess we'll go for our next. I'm not going to harvest the olives until they're done. And I'll need this just to be able to tell when we're full because these guys take a heck of a lot longer. As you can see 399. Where's the last one? It's supposed to be 400. Hmm. <laughs> I'm really starting to wonder. Can we just grab one off the tree and eat it or something just to make sure it was right? I, mean, I can understand that, but, you know, at least tell people that's what you're gonna do. one done. Do, 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 do. How's that harvester? No idea. I can't see him at all. Hmm. Oh, let's go grab some more pears. Gonna pick pears like it was 1999. Well, there he's still going, but he's pipe out, so we're at 80%. So I guess as soon as I finish this row of trees, we'll uh, go and give him another empty. And we will run. Whatever comes off of this field, this wheat field, is going to run directly to the baker. I think we have a little bit of wheat and barley, etc. in the silo still, so not a problem to run it directly into the bakery. It's a partially cloudy day. It looked like it was going to be nice this morning after that big rain yesterday. Now it's kind of hoping anyway. And up we go, last one. There we go. Do, 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 do. And 35.99. No, see now we got a full 3600. So one of these trees had one pair or two short, and one tree had one extra. Well, I guess that works out okay then, doesn't it? <laughs> go. Now we're picking our apples. And yeah, I gotta go and uh, look after the harvester because he has once again stopped. <clears throat> and this is probably a good stopping point for the video as well. Um, again, uh, Lord Ify, Master Harold, uh, Punk, all of you, huge, huge thanks. Oh, uh, yeah, the greenhouses, you, uh, ah, heck, we're in the wrong place. But right beside where you do the water, you can dump furt. And again, thanks to uh, Punk there for telling me what that was needed. Because, uh, well, in the stock giants one, and the only other ones I ever used, I believe, were from the apple mod, which is the strawberry greenhouses. And I don't believe it requires fertilizer, or I never actually got around to using it. Because, to be honest with you, I don't remember which was which. There we are. So. The, uh, but yeah. If we come up to them. 
Yeah, you'll notice you get um, fertilizer, manure, and spring water. Right, so, and uh, yeah, we can dump fert. And apparently right beside where the uh, we dump water. Oh, look at this. We have some crops ready. There's some carrots. Yummy. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, check it out. There we have some kohlrabi. Boy, every time I go to end an episode, I find something else cool to do. All right, so we are getting a little bit of production here. I mean, there's not much there, right? We've only got 30. Oh, where do the onions go then? Because these grow three crow. Oh, here we go, and onions on the front. Neat. Very neat. All right. Well, I get a feeling, guys. Um, once we get some crops down here, these greenhouses are going to be a lot of fun. Because guess what? We actually do have a little bit of a stock of... Uh, a cow happiness uh, straw feeding trough blah 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 manure twenty two thousand I think that's gonna be enough you know that we can fill our greenhouses happy happy joy joy now I'm gonna get this guy off the field before the harvester decides to uh, catch him on the rebound as it were and of course we will pick up the rest of the straw the first load being needed immediately into our mixer so but like i say i think that's going to do it for this episode we got a lot done um again big thanks to all of you all of your help you uh you have saved the day here we can uh, go nuts uh oh Ooh, we had a little micro pause there. <laughs> that had me worried. Oh, yeah, there goes the entire episode. But, uh, yeah, we can really go nuts here now. If you guys find anything, like I know there's a brewery floating, floating around out there. Floating around out there. Enunciate, boy, you're old enough to know the language. And uh, we could sort of add that. There might even be some other things. You know, maybe there's an anti-aircraft gun and we can do something about Noisy Old Earl. I don't know. You guys, I'm sure, will come up with something. But until then, well, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Hit the like button. Feel free to share, favorite, and all that happiness. It only helps me out. And, uh, well, I always appreciate being helped out. Take care of each other, folks. <laughs> Ciao for now. Go, dude, go. Uh.